to our Saturday readings from the Gospel of John and um, our reflections together. As always, I hope the time is going to be meaningful for you um, and that you actually look forward to it day by day, as I do. We're continuing in the third chapter of John. I'm sure it must seem like a snail's pace, but each word each line, each verse has something to say to us and something for us to respond to. So let's enter together in John chapter 3, verses 22 through 30. After this, Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside, and he spent some time there with them and baptized. John was also baptizing at Anon near Salim because water was abundant there and people kept coming and were being baptized. John, of course, had not yet been thrown into prison. Now a discussion about purification arose between John's disciples and a Jew. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who was with you across the Jordan, to whom you testified, here he is baptizing and all are going to him. John answered, No one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven. You yourselves are my witnesses that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I have been sent ahead of him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom, who stands and hears him, rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. For this reason... My joy has been fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. You know, rejoicing at the blessings of others seems to be a learned experience. As early as two years of age, jealousy and envy and a propensity to take from others by force if necessary seems to be a normal part of the human condition. John had no such jealousy or envy in him. Something happened to John in John's early life that revealed to him a better way. I like to think it was when Mary approached his mother Elizabeth and John leapt within his mother's womb. You see, I believe we need no convincing. We need no words to become Christ-like. We just need the experience of coming close and of realizing who Christ truly is. Let's join together for a moment of silence as we reflect on all of these things. Jealousy robs us of our ability to be Christ-like. 
You know, Jesus, though God, did not seek glory or honor, but he lived in humility before people and before his Father. That's why our intention for today is to see the bountiful gifts that God has given to us, to others, and to not be jealous or conceited, but in all things to give thanks. I'm so grateful for being a part of your Lenten practice this year. I hope this time is becoming a habit, you know, the good kind, and that you'll continue with us through Holy Week. And as you're going through your day, or even your weekend, bless someone today by noticing or admiring their gifts. God bless you.